bring you more curiosities. Actually, we are using this training moment for 27th April celebration to uh, study some very specific aspects of anthropological side and also mystic side of Shiza in future. So this time we have here on our left Shidoshi Luis Nogueira Serrano, who is going to perform for you an example of what is called Oni Midomo. Shidoshi Luis, some, please, can you talk more about this kind of shot for actually those who are watching the videos can understand better that mystic part? Of course. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Okay, this uh, ritualistic, this ceremony, as you have been introducing, it's called Oni Midomo. Oni means demon, uh, the ball. And Midomo means I, but it's an archaism related, uh, anachronism re related concerning when you are talking with uh, someone that is equal or lesser than you or inferior. Then uh, this name is explained because you need to win to beat the, the Oni, is you are treating them as they were uh, inferior. Then, uh, as you have been watching, I have uh, shot uh, four rounds of arrows. These four, uh, each of them, every of them, it's for one Oni. I have called it, called the demon, called the Oni. The first one, it's called uh, Yosa, and it's uh, the meaning of the demon of the lies, the demon of the uh, intrigues, the demon of betrayals. Then the season try in this ceremony to protect against this kind of Oni because they try to always put uh, in, in lies, in conflict, the, the people in the village and this thing. When they uh, solve these lies, they be, it start the action of the second Oni that it's called Hayes, uh, uh, Heza. This Heisa, this hates like um, a, a confusion because hey, it could be understood as peace. But this hey, uh, in this case, it's when all lies are solved, it, get, it appears the demon of the war, the conflict. Then, after this, we have the following on it that it's called Dosa, that it's the demon of the hunger because the war, it always always brings what it's hunger, what it's problems with, with the food, etc. Because this kind of conflict, it's in the ancient Japan, in the ancient tradition of the season, it's uh, very present. And finally, the last one that it's called uh, Yusa, it's the demon or the Oni uh, uh, related with the dead. Okay, the, the, death death, the death itself, because the war is always uh, bringing what is hunger and what is death. So if, I, if I'm sorry to interrupt, but you see, actually to check if we understood right, we have the light, yes. first then you have a false peace, yes. then, then you have the problems caused by the war itself, then we have the hunger, and yes. also we have death. 
Yes, these are the four Oni, the four that they call Oni, the four energies, the four beliefs that uh, it could cause um, several or serious catastrophes to, to what was the, the, the season culture. I mean, uh, we are talking about religious, as you have explained, ceremonials, uh, and this was a special ceremony that it's needed to apply not a, a ritualistic or ceremonial sort, more like a war sort. You need to do it faster, you need to do it stronger, and of course it's very important that you sort in the target because they employ a fan, because the fan is, represents the Oni. So um, it's like facing the full inevitable steps yeah. of a massacre or a huge damage to a village or to a certain group of people. Yes. Yeah, so, so in this case, of course, you have to use all your strength. We saw a full shots with a lot of energy. Yes. And with no ceremonial steps in between the, the moment that we bring the bow up and then when we release the, the yes. arrow. So it's really uh, the characteristic of war shots, but then to those four uh, enemies. Yes, because. Disasters. Yes, it's because you are not making a ceremony for an offering. In this, you are winning, you are beating the Oni. It's to say, when you uh, shout loud, you, you want to call the Oni, to make the Oni face Invoke. directly to the bowman. After this, you have the Oni reflected in the, in the fan, because you will have a fan. We have an employee, because we are not performing this type of ceremony completely in that way. The bowman needs to be covered with the face, especially the mouth, with a paper, with a paper that white, is covered. White one, yeah? Yeah, white, white one. Paper. Avoiding the Oni, because they believe that the Oni could run, could fly, in, and go into the mouth of the it bowman. It makes sense, because if it's the first one, for an instance, is the Oni, the demon of lies, is a kind of energy that comes from the mouth. The mouth. Yeah, so it's like a purification uh, procedure to avoid that energy to beat you. Yeah? That's true, that's true. Then, after these four shots that you need to, to read completely the fan, if you don't do it, the, the ceremony won't, will be failed. So say the bowman has a special uh, responsibility with the, with the billet, special responsibility with the with the with the all the people st staying on the festivity, all the tension goes. All the tension the goes into the bowman because uh, it represents uh, winning for for them in their beliefs. Avoiding this kind of massacres, this kind of of uh, of difficult situation, it's it's important. It's important uh, to be uh, completed, to be successful on the on the shots. So uh, at the end. The precision that the bowman has means the survival of that village. This That's a really huge responsibility. Yes. And uh, I hope you enjoy those very interesting information. And it's actually, with no doubt, what makes the, the study and the future so rich to have so many differences between a way for you to perform practicing with the, the bow that's a very beautiful weapon. Thank you very much.